Capture One's Heal and Clone tools offer extensive potential for retouching, repairing, and removing unwanted objects and artifacts within your photos. In this tutorial, we will go through how to use them and the difference between the Heal and Clone brushes. First on this photo, I'd like to remove some of the blemishes and spots. I'll pick the Heal Brush tool here, or I can use the shortcut Q. And I'll start to brush on the first blemish. When I release, Capture One automatically finds a source point to cover up the blemish. When using the heel brush, the healed areas are automatically placed on a heel layer that is created in the Layers tool. I'll get back to more on that later. I can remove an unlimited number of spots, blemishes, and artifacts on this layer with the heel brush. To change the brush settings, simply right click to bring up the menu. If I'm not satisfied with the source point that Capture One has automatically chosen, I can always simply move it. To move a source point by a critical amount, you can first select it by clicking on it, and then use the cursor keys just to move it. To deselect the source point, just click it once more. If you want to delete a source point, again first select it and use the delete or backspace button on your keyboard. If you would prefer not to see the arrows, you can hide them from within the brush settings. And you can still continue to do further healing points as before. Since all heal areas are automatically added to a heal layer, I have full control of them. I can temporarily hide them by disabling the layer, change the opacity of the layer to reduce the impact, or easily remove all heal areas simply by deleting the layer. For this area, I'm going to use the clone brush to do a couple of different jobs. I can use it to copy some of the freckles and also in a more controlled way, remove the darker area just here. First of all, let's clone a couple of freckles. I can choose the clone brush here, or use the shortcut S. The main difference between healing and cloning is that heal automatically blends intelligently with the surroundings, while clone simply copies the source point without blending. Another difference is that I first have to select the source point manually. To do so, alt click the area. I'm going to choose this freckle right here. Note that as soon as I've selected a source point, Capture One will automatically create a new clone layer. So now when I brush, the pixels will simply be copied from the source to the brushed area. Like a heel layer, I can also have multiple source points. So once again, if I alt click, this area, then I can simply brush in like so. Now for this area, I want to lighten it a little, but be fully in control of the result. So like before, I choose a source point around here, and then right click to bring up my brush settings. This time I'm going to reduce flow down to a nice low amount, and make my brush a little bit bigger and a bit softer, so I can control how the cloning is built up. There we go. As mentioned before, like the heel layer, I can always add more clone source points if needed and delete them in the same way. If I choose my heel brush again, and I'll use the shortcut Q, the heel layer is automatically selected when I start to remove additional points. I can make additional heel or clone layers if necessary, especially if I want to vary the opacity of each layer. So far, I've only removed relatively small artifacts in the previous examples, but don't forget the heel brush can be used for removing larger objects too.